to Southampton. So um, yeah, let's get out of here. We want to get to Portsmouth today if we can. Should be able to. Uh, yeah, explore along the way maybe. Go and go to the uh, Portchester Castle. The River Itchen. Southampton Football Club over there. Airport's over there somewhere. Behind me. Southampton Lines on this street. The docks over that way. You recognise this place over there? I don't know about where it comes from. And that little a river through it, just behind this uh, road and the railway. Yeah, let's sit down here and enjoy my sausage roll if they're warm. Portchester now, Portchester Castle behind me, it's like a, was a Roman fort, Napoleon war, prisoner war camp, stuff like that, yeah, it's pretty quiet down here, quite nice, and there's a bit of clouds, it's not so hot, not so hot. Just left the GoPro on for like an hour and 50 minutes. So, yeah. I'm thinking this roundabout here. It's um, still at the outside. So, it's not on the island of Portsmouth, but it's, I would say it's in Portsmouth. Okay, let's go to the shop, get some food, and we'll try and get on. Tesco on the way back to the roundabout. I did check out the roundabout before I went to Tesco. There are signs of other people being in there in the past, but well, quite, probably quite recent past. I won't show you them, they're a bit disgusting. <laughs> Just like wet wipes and things, but where we head in. So we'll come back in a minute.
and we're in quite a long weird one it's a weird platform down here don't know where that was was once who knows yeah we're on I think I'm gonna come down there because you know why not nice and flat before I went, I went down there to have a look I went down without my bike but I don't want to leave my bike up here really just in case might be a bit trickier bit of a drop but uh, yeah at least the bike will be with me so let's get down there have a proper explore now as well so what do you think all the nice stuff places <laughs> concrete jungle in my usual roundabout paradise but I just want to you know sit down relax for a bit so the sun's behind me need to chill my legs need a rest might just go right in the middle here it's not the middle but you know what I mean away from the moss right here Just moving the bike and then realised I've got a puncher. Probably not the <laughs> greatest idea bringing the bike down here. There's glass, there's all it's probably fawns, all sorts of stuff down here probably. But yeah. I've got a, um, to bring my puncher repair kit. So it's just you have to find the hole. But yeah, normally you put it in water or something, don't you? Try and find it just by listening to it, feeling for it. I'm gonna sit down, get a drink, get some chocolate, cherry bake well, then we'll worry about that. Very warm in the tent. Fixing the puncture, just going to blow it up again and put it in. That's uh, hopefully nice and sealed. Oh. Sun, need some clouds. Probably should have gone over there behind the bush, not out in the open like this. Wonder what this was though. The flood basin, maybe. It's still a little wet over here. But yeah, should have maybe come by and 
should have maybe come behind this tree. A bit of shade at least. Over there, just right in the sun. And I think I'm a bit sunburned. It's a bit crispy. Oh. I'm quite set the drone up again after. But the, my phone battery, I died. I was in the air. Luckily, it returned to the home. But it's quite scary when he does that. Menu tonight is just a rush of burger. I might fry some pepperoni in mine. Hope it don't rain a lot tonight in this like flood basin or wherever it is. And I hope I don't get any visitors. I think the bike makes stealth camping a little more complicated as well. I get up to round the pumps with a bike. This one will go right because it's got a footpath from that. Some of the bigger ones, like here around here, have that like road barrier. So you have to get over that with the bike. Saturday. <laughs> It's a nice night. It's just gone uh, 10 o'clock. It's uh, Tuesday now. Uh, Thursday is the longest day of the year. Friday. And it's all downhill. <laughs> yeah, we're out now. Is that a bat or a bird? I don't know. Looks like I'm all by myself and hope it stays that way. So. I don't know whether to move the bike closer or put it on the floor just in case. I don't know. I'll probably take it off the stand and wheel it away without me hearing it while I'm asleep. Maybe I'll pile up the wheel. Or am I just being paranoid? Oh well, I'm gonna get back in the tent and get cozy. Twelve o'clock, it's still really light. But I'll see you in the morning. Night everyone. Good morning. Just making a cup of coffee. It's a little colder this morning. Oh, I'm skin looking man. Mm. Phone's not charged. It's on charge all night. That's only on eighteen percent. Struggling to charge at all yesterday it kept like Turn it on and shut it down, turn it on, shut it down, turn it on, shut it down. I don't know why phones just can't, like, well, my phone doesn't, like, doesn't stay off while you try and charge it. Wait. <laughs> there you go. Uh, have a cup of coffee and tear down camp. I'm going to get out of here and then go in. Uh, head onto the island of Portsmouth. Have a look around. All packed up. Uh, front wheel is still inflated, so fingers crossed it stays like that. Just gotta get up this like bank now.
this might have been where it popped, so um, careful. <laughs> The only thing last night is their trucks. There's a couple of lay-by on either side of the roundabout. Trucks keeping their engines on, so you know, maybe they're getting a little chilly with the diesel heater. Tire's gone again. There must be something in it still. Oh, another puncture. Maybe I'll, I'll try and blow up again. I'll get off the roundabout first. And then, uh, yeah. Let's see what it's doing. HMS Warrior, Spinnaker Tower. Porchester Castle is over on the other side. I was over there somewhere. It was probably further up. Yeah, it's further up. All these little fishing boats. can pay to go on it and I think it's a museum now and there's like the historic Docklands you can all explore and see exhibits and stuff and here's the train station I'm gonna get on a train if it's not too expensive and anyway so thanks for watching guys see you in the bushes next time bye for now